Hey guys, so I am eight days past ovulation today and I never test this early. I don't actually test this early. Like with Mila Rose and Roman's pregnancies, I tested at um, five days past five day transfer, which is the equivalent of like 10 days past ovulation. So um, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I highly doubt anything's going to show up because it's so early. And like I said, I don't normally test this early, but I'm just itching to know. I'm just, it's driving me insane. Um, <laughs> I'm not used to testing like in days past ovulation either because like I said, I've got two IVF kids so I'm used to knowing that an embryo was put in me and you know around about when it would implant and when I could test whereas you know if the days past ovulation I don't even know you know if I actually did ovulate or anything like that. I mean I've got my fertility friend child and all that but I'm just I don't know. I don't know. It, it says I've ovulated, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> right, so I'm going to get all this stuff together and then we'll film. I'm still trying to decide which. I don't know whether to use a fancy test and possibly have it wasted, but know that it's probably going to pick up more HCG, you know, when it's early than an internet strip, you know, a cheapie. Um, or whether to use a cheapie because I don't want to waste a flash one. And know that it might not pick it up. I oh, know in between getting all the stuff out and filming you'll find out. Okay I've decided to use um, this BFP pregnancy test because it's actually already open. I opened it a little while ago because um, I actually have the BFP ovulation test as well and I just picked it up thinking it was the ovulation test and opened it. So you kind of meant to use these straight away when you open them so I may as well use this one since it's already open. It's a shame really but it's got to be used. Okay so let's go dip it. I'll put the camera here. Alrighty. Oh, this is crazy. I can't believe I'm testing this early, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's going to be negative. It's, ah. Oh. You know, and every day when it's early and it comes up negative, I'm probably just going to say to myself, it's just too early. It's just too early when, you know, there's a possibility that I'm just not pregnant. <laughs> This is only my second cycle though since um, starting to get cycles so last cycle was really really long. This one so far I ovulated on cycle day 20 so it's not going to be too long. Alright I think it's coming across now. Put the cap back on and we can watch it go past. This is not my fancy camera either so I hope it can pick it up. It's going across. All right, my battery's flashing, so we're gonna stop it here, and we're gonna come back and fire. Oh, what does this say? Three minutes. Okay, we're gonna come back in three minutes, guys. Okay, guys, it's been three minutes. I'm not really expecting too much. If you want to know symptoms, nothing. Like I don't. To be honest, not even my boobs hurt, which is what I kind of expected after, like, ovulation, you know, with the progesterone getting higher, but, um, nothing, absolutely nothing. So I'm not really holding out too much hope, hope for the cycle right now. Um, but you know what? It's only been month two, so we'll see what happens next month. But, of course, first we'll see what's on this test. Okay, from here it is looking negative, but course at 8 dpo we might need to look closer i just need to look out from the camera for a second you guys um yeah that <laughs> i think there is no denying that start whiteness there there is nothing there is not even a shadow line there is absolutely nothing zoom 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 well that's that then so, the answer for 8 days past ovulation is negative. Bow, bow. Never mind. Um, what's tomorrow? Um, 9 days past ovulation. So, I'll test tomorrow again, 9 days past ovulation. Won't use this test though. Oh, something's in there. Um, I'll probably just use an internet cheapy strip tomorrow. I oh, know, we'll see. I'll change, probably change my mind. <laughs> But um, we'll have a look again tomorrow. Um, surprisingly, I don't feel disappointed yet. 
maybe tomorrow I might even though tomorrow is still really early this is ridiculously early like seriously I mean what do I expect of course I should expect a negative but yeah never mind all right I might pop a photo and if you want to see like a close-up I'll see what I can do all right guys thanks so much for watching make sure you subscribe so that you can watch the rest of my journey to try and conceive baby number three without IVF um, if you haven't followed my journey already then um, subscribe and go back and watch all my journey um, to baby number one and baby number two through IVF. Alright guys, see ya! It's usually seen in um, charts that result in a pregnancy, but it can be seen on charts that don't result in a pregnancy too, so I'm not...